Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how can you do your delete in your incremental load. In last video, we saw how can you do your insert and update. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how can you do your delete, right? So uh, what we're going to do primarily is you're going to get this is your source table. This is your target table. Or let's say they treat, treat this as a customer. Whenever there is a customer that's leaving the company or let's say the row is deleted in the source, right? How do you reflect that in your target? right so we in this one uh, the good approach is not to delete that from the target what you can do is instead i have already created a uh, within the schema i already created a column called is deleted uh, and then i'm going to make it as true right if a uh, customer leaves or if the row is deleted in the source i'm going to look for the same row in the target i'm going to go ahead and make that is deleted column as true right let's go ahead and see how we can get this done so Uh, I'm gonna use the same. Uh, I'm gonna use the same uh, package uh, that we uh, uh, saw in the previous video. So you see here in the previous in the package that we had, we had an incremental. Uh, we had incremental insert update. This one uh, I'm gonna bring in my data flow task, and then let's rename it as delete. Yep, name it as delete. And then in this one, what I'm going to do is I need to first bring in my target table and compare that with the source and then whatever. It's a little bit of opposite you can think of from what we did in the previous thing, uh, in the insert and update uh, from comparing source to target. In this one, I'm going to compare target versus source. So uh, you can do it a number of different ways this one, but I have always used this way and it works for me. So you see here, yeah, I have my OLDB source. Again, in this one, I'll configure my target here. So, look for my target table. Oops, I need to a little bit push it up. Where is my target? Yep. So, I have my target here. So, this is my target. I'm just renaming it as, uh, I'm just gonna you know, rename it as target. Target. Perfect. And then uh, let's bring in our lookup comparison again, lookup task. Put it over the lookup. And then here again, redirect to no match output, very similar to what we did last time. And then this one, it's going to compare the incoming target with your source table, right? So you have your source here, and that's it. Right, and then the columns again. Uh, you will be comparing that against the finance key, just a unique column, primary, right? So, okay, perfect. So, what happens if there is a match, right? If there is a match, which means no problem, right? So, the customer is there in the source as well as in the target. Let's say, for example, if customer is uh, deleted in the source, so I need to update that in the target, right? So I'm going to bring in my OLEDB uh, command for that and I'll make a manual update into my uh, is deleted column. So here it's going to be no match output. Whenever there is a customer mismatch, uh, source doesn't have a customer but the target has that customer uh, or let's say if source doesn't have a specific record but the target has that specific record, you need to go to that is deleted column and make it as true, right? So that's exactly what you're going to do here. Uh, OLDB command connection manager configure that you know or point it to the connection manager that we already you know did that in the previous video uh, or create a new connection manager OLDB and here in the SQL command all that I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna write a statement from here it's easier that way so update right update my target table right oops set my is is deleter see is deleter is equal to one right uh, you can also make it true or false or one or zero doesn't matter where my finance key right is equal to you know it's gonna be something in the runtime whatever uh, row is not matching it will be coming here and that will be replaced right so let's go back and paste it over here so update the table set the is deleted is equal to one 
wherever the finance key uh, the, is equal to the parameter incoming parameter which this question mark this is the parameter that will be mapping in the next one so let's go here in this one you see there is a parameter zero that will be directly mapped to your finance key right so now what's going to happen here is uh, in your uh, query so that parameter zero is going to be here so in the runtime the parameter will have different finance keys if it is matching and that will all be uh, there right so that's it here so for when this executes right now if this executes let's uh, there is no we didn't delete any record here so i'm gonna can I close this so your target is here your source is here both has 10 rows right there is no there is no deletion in the source that happened so if you just run this right now there's going to be no no changes right so 10 rows right from the target looked up when the no match output there isn't anything everything is matching right so there's no problem however let's stop this let's go back to the sql server let's say from my source let's say i'm going to delete my 10th row right okay let's also delete the uh, ninth row it's just no just like that so i have right now i only have eight rows in my source right in my target you see even if i refresh it i have i have 10 rows but those two rows right uh, nine and ten this is deleted column should have true here or it should be one so let's go back now let's run this again right so you see the no match output is two so two parameters would have been passed on to that uh, update statement here uh, i'll show you that so there will be two parameters that would have been passed on to this update statement into this question mark right so those two finance keys and uh, their corresponding is deleted will be refreshed now if i refresh this target table you see the 9 and 10 now it says is deleted so i still re retain those older records just you know since it's a transactional it's a good approach to have those older records just in case but then i'm uh, just uh, flagging it as is deleted making it as true right so in my reporting system i can just uh, reporting layer i can just uh, you know slice and dice against this column and i can only filter for the is deleted is equal to false that will show my uh, existing customers and uh, you know i'll also have my deleted customers in the uh, in the flag as true right so that's about this video thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in a different video